is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with a brand new wwe action figure ranking video and this one is going to be one that kind of celebrates the life of bray wyatt because if you guys were unaware i think it was yesterday that it was announced that he unfortunately has passed away a very terrible situation just completely blindsided everybody uh when i first read that i didn't even believe it i i had somebody text me i was like in a spot that was out of service and it's going to be one of those moments where you never forget where you were i think you know when you get the, that type of news you know that uh that kind of just shakes you to your core but i was i was out of uh cell phone service and i got a message that said bray wyatt with like a down face and i was like what the heck is that and then when i got service i did get to finally see the news and uh Completely broke my heart, man. Comple I mean, I'm still shaking up about it. It doesn't even feel real. And so today, I just wanted to take some time to kind of celebrate him, celebrate his life and his career, and rank his action figures and do a WWE action figure ranking video of Bray Wyatt and celebrate his figures and everything that we got. And I hope that Mattel pumps out more figures of him because he is such a celebrated character. He's an awesome character, such a creative mind. And... Uh, it's it's just a terrible situation, man. Prayers go out to his family, his friends, his close ones, his fans. Uh, just just such a just a terrible thing, man. And Terry Funk passed away just the other day as well. So another rest in peace to him. Two incredible legends that we have lost here. And anytime anybody passes away, it's a terrible situation. But when it is somebody you know that you see on your TV all the time that you kind of have grown up with, right? And uh, this one, this one just shook me, man. It shook me a lot, and he was just so young. He was so young, 36 years old, man. That is so incredibly young, and it, it just rocked me when I when I saw that. And today, I just wanted to just celebrate him, celebrate his figures, his his Mattel career here, and rank his figures, man. And we're gonna dive into that today. And I hope you guys do enjoy the video. I, I didn't let anybody, uh, I didn't let the patrons vote on this one because I wanted it to be, you know, uh, just a celebration of him, man. So I wanted to do that today. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. If you guys are unaware of the ranking, man, uh, also I want to apologize if I'm not like over the moon or just like more enthusiastic. I do apologize for that. Again, I just, I don't know, man. This one has, I, I let's just get into it. Starting off first, dude, we do have the go buy it section at the top. Now, if I put a figure in the go buy it section, that does mean that I do think you should have it in your collection. That means you need to spend your money on the figure. You need to take your money, go buy the figure. It is worth the purchase, absolutely. The next category is good figure. Now, that means that it is a good figure. It's not the best figure of all time. Maybe, you know, I. it's maybe not like just full punch of approval. It's like, that's a really good figure. If you had it in your collection, I would completely understand it. But, you know, if you don't want the figure, I could understand it as well. So it's kind of one of those where it's like, you know, not quite just must have, but it's very, very good. Below that, we do have the mass section. But put it in mass, like, you know, it's not like a bad figure. It's not the best figure of all time, but it's a solid little, uh, eh, you know, it's like, uh, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Next up is going to be barely acceptable. Now, barely acceptable means you have one thing about your figure, whether it be an accessory, a head sculpt, maybe the way it feels in hand, maybe like a certain, certain something about that figure is keeping it from the garbage. One thing keeping you from the garbage, and the garbage means that your figure figure is not good. You don't need it in your collection. You don't even need to think about it. It just, it, maybe it wasn't well executed. It wasn't made well. You know, maybe it looks nothing like the guy. Maybe it doesn't feel good in hand. Can't pose it. Just a lot of different things going into that, man. But with that being said, let's dive into Bray Wyatt's action figures and celebrate him, man. Rest in peace to the legend Bray Wyatt. I can't even believe I am even saying those words. So starting out first, man, we do have the Elite 36 Bray Wyatt, and this one's not my favorite of all time. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. It's it's solid. I think this is the second version of Bray Wyatt that we had seen in Elite figure form, and it, it's a part of a pretty good wave, but uh, I, I was never the biggest fan of this figure. Like, I, I'm gonna leave this one in mid right now. You know, it had the apron, which was solid, the green color. The formula for this this time of Bray Wyatt wasn't the best, which we'll get into as we go about it, but it was just like the pants had a lot more to be desired. They were very flat, and it didn't have like any sculpts on the crotch piece. It's not a bad figure whatsoever, but uh, it's not my favorite of all time. I put it in meh. You know, it's kind of give or take there. It's okay. Next up we have, I can't tell if this is the Elite 87. I think this is the Elite, no, not the Elite 87. I think this is the Elite 77 Fane figure, and this is good figure. I would put it in go buy it, but we know that they released a lot of Fane figures, so I didn't want to put that one in go buy it. I will put it in good figure, though, because it is very good. I, I love the unique formula. I love that new sculpted torso. He had all his tattoos out. He looked like a badass. 
fantastic head sculpt. Came with the headlamp. That that figure was ag absolute money, and I would have it in the Go Buy It section. However, there are other versions of the Fiend that I think you could purchase, but you know what? I guess if you wanted to add that to your collection, this is a perfect good figure, because if you wanted to add that to your, your collection, I think it's absolutely there, but you know, it is what it is. Next up, we have the Elite 85 Bray Wyatt. Now, this may be one of the most underrated WWE Elites of all time. This is Go Buy It for me. I love the sculpted sweater. I love the collar coming out. The head sculpt's fantastic. You get, not only he comes with bare hands and the hurt heel hands, which is fantastic. He comes with Huskus the pig completing our puppets there. So this one's really underrated, man. The only thing that really docks this figure is the, the pants color. I don't think he ever wore that like shaggy brown Scooby-Doo AF color there, but the khaki pants on this figure would have been like just chef's kiss. I almost put the damn basic on here because the basic was low key. Like it was, it was better than the one elite, which we'll get into in this video, which I cannot effing stand. But this figure right here is so good. I love the unique pants. It's just such a good figure, man. And it also had double jointed arms. I think it was the, I could be wrong about this, but I think it's the first ever main elite line double jointed arm action figure from Mattel. And I, I don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. We don't know, but that is a fantastic piece. I love that figure. That's a great figure. Shelf warm like hell, but damn good. Next up, we have the Elite 86 Fiend Bray Wyatt, and this one's slightly better than the Elite 77. I would put him at the top of good figure. Uh, it's repainted. It's got, like, more saturated pants. It has blonder hair, which is probably more accurate for the Fiend. God, dude, it's just so... I, I, I can't even, like, grasp it. Like, I feel like yesterday we were seeing all these customs of the Fiend, seeing all these figures, and now just to think about this, man, I just I, I'm just, I don't even know. Next up is going to be the Elite 92 Fiend. And this is the burnt version. This is the burnt Fiend action figure. And I think this figure is really, really unique. I felt like it was way too short. But the sculpts are really good, man. I would put that above the Elite 77. I don't like it more than the Elite 86 because I really like the Elite 86 Fiend. But the burnt Fiend's a really good figure. Really, like, it is pretty much custom sculpted from top to bottom. One of one molds all over the place. Very, very unique piece. And it is a figure I never would have expected out of Mattel. But it's got great paint detail. Really awesome. Just not my favorite version of the Fiend for sure, but it was a crazy crazy night. I remember when that happened. Uh, just an awesome looking action figure aesthetically, and it's got good posing and everything. I just felt like it was, felt like it was maybe a little bit too short. I'm gonna put it in good figure. I mean, I would understand if you bought it, but it's not, I don't think it's like must-have for me. Next up is going to be the Ultimate Edition Fiend. Now, this is the first version of the Ultimate Edition Fiend. Very good. I'm gonna put that and go buy it. It, it, it kind of has like an Elite 92 Fiend, like Burnt Fiend style going on, where it's like the, it's kind of, I felt like the legs were a bit short, I feel like they always made his fig his fiend figures way too short, but it's still really damn good. I love the jacket. I love the beefiness of it. You know, it had, the Elite has uh, it has double jointed arms, which is an upgrade from the Elite. But I don't know, man. I, I really do enjoy that fiend figure. The Ultimate Edition is pretty damn solid. Next up is going to be the Elite Twenty Eight Bray Wyatt, and this one's damn good. Is it go buy it? I'm going to say it is because I think this is the best version of that Wyatt family Bray Wyatt. You know, Hawaiian shirt, white pants, great head sculpt. It still has that kind of like flatness to the pants where they're not like completely sculpted and things like that, but they're still really good. It's very clean. I love that Hawaiian shirt. It's damn good. I like that Wyatt family Bray Wyatt right there. I'm pretty sure he came with the rocking chair. So that's a, you know, he comes with a cracker barrel rocking chair. So that's extra bonus points. Next up, we have the Elite 54 Bray Wyatt, and this is tough for me because I actually love this figure a lot. I love the sculpt on the pants. Now, this is where they kind of upgraded from that old Bray Wyatt style where they went away from like just flat painted on pants to where they actually sculpted some zippers. They sculpted some jean material. They sculpted the crotch. It was a really, really good figure. Huh, do I want to put it and go buy it? I think I do. I think I do, and I think I like it more than this one, and I think I, like, uh, the big thing about Bray Wyatt figures is they always made his torso a little bit too small. And then with the Fiend figure, I made multiple customs and multiple fix-ups on the channel where we kind of like took the figures and morphed them together with the Fiend so you would have like that more jacked Bray Wyatt stocky build, that muscular build mixed with the oldness of of his other figures, so that was really fun to do. But uh, I, I like this figure a lot. The Elite 54 Bray is really, really good. I would put it up there. And it's a great head scope. It had like the wide eyes, got the lantern in there. Very good era of Bray Wyatt right there. I like that version of Bray Wyatt. Next up, we have the best of pay-per-view Bray Wyatt. Now, this is one I don't think I've ever owned, but I'm gonna put this one in meh. I don't know if I like that. You can you can kind of see there how like, like look at the pants. It's supposed to be like a tucked in shirt. There's no belt. It's just like a red crotch piece. That always bothered me. It was the same thing with the uh, with the white Bray Wyatt Elite 28, the Elite 36. 
They didn't have any sculpt on the crotch. It was just like a flat red crotch. And it just is so weird. It's like, I don't know. Isn't that weird looking? It's just like you have the shirt. It looks like it's tucked in, but it's not. Or is it supposed to be over the belt? There's no like sculpted crotch of like nothing. There's nothing there. It's just flat piece. So it's like, is he wearing trunks? I don't know. I just felt like it was kind of weird. So I put him in mad there. Bray Wyatt, best of pay-per-view there. Next up is a figure that is absolutely barely acceptable, man. The ringside exclusive Bray Wyatt Firefly Funhouse. This figure could have been amazing. This figure could... If you took the uh, the basic Bray Wyatt that was so good, right, with the sculpted sweater and all that stuff, if you would have taken that and made it into elite form, like, he has these gray slacks on. They did the same thing. It's just such a bare minimum Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt figure, man. How it's like, God, there's just so much more to be desired here. It also had a painted on shirt and it's like tucked in. You can see his belly button painted over. He was super tiny, like super short. I'm pretty sure in my review I drugged this figure because I was just, I didn't like it. The only good thing about it is the background Firefly Funhouse piece it comes with for display. And then of course the, the pals, the puppets. You got all the puppets in there, which is fantastic. Of course not Huskus, he comes in Elite 85. But if you would have taken, like wet, like gray slacks, man. No belt sculpt. Just, just completely missed the mark on this figure. It made me sick. If it wasn't for those puppets, Brad, this guy would be easily in the garbage. It's actually one of my least favorite Mattels ever released because it just was so half-assed. I, uh, God, that one fires me up, Brad. That one fires me up. Next up, we have a kind of a repaint of the Elite 54, and this is one I'm going to be purchasing, man. This is one I'm absolutely purchasing. This is Go Buy It All Day. This is the greatest hits Bray Wyatt, and I'm actually going to put this guy at the top because I think it could be the best Bray Wyatt Elite of all time, and uh, I don't think they're going to cancel the figure or anything like that, at least at this juncture, of course. But this is a redone version of the Elite 54, which is actually a figure that is supposed to represent the unreleased Epic Moments Ultimate Deletion 2-pack with Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. It was going to come with the Mower of Lawns. It was going to come with the Dilapidated Boat. And it was going to come with Vanguard 1. I mean, dude, this thing was loaded. It was the Ultimate Deletion set. It was such a beautiful set. One of the best sets ever. I was so hyped for that set. Except the figure, the Bray Wyatt had red pants and the like light khaki boots. And then that figure got canceled for whatever reason. The whole set got canceled. And so we were really bummed out. But now with the Greatest Hits line, they're bringing that figure back around. And now it's going to be in the greatest hits line double jointed arms pan like crocodile snakeskin style pants figure is going to be phenomenal it looks beautiful it's one of the figures i'm most excited for and i think it's my favorite figure out of the greatest hits like next set so that is a bray wyatt that i'm much looking forward to the figure looks off the chain i cannot wait for it but that is that bray wyatt that's easily go by it could be what potentially could be the best bray wyatt elite ever made by mattel now we're moving into the next ultimate edition figure this is the ultimate edition two in one blackout match now this is absolutely go buy it. I'm going to move it up here. Obviously, we, I'm going to put it at the bottom just because we don't know how good it's going to be. But it is go buy it. Uh, you guys can know, like, I was actually front row for this match. And uh, it's very cool because during my vlog, if you guys go back and watch my Royal Rumble vlog where I sat front row, Bray Wyatt was literally like me to the camera. Like really, really close. LA Knight as well. He like threw him over the barricade and then he got tackled. Like I'm talking, he was right in front of my face. And uh, this figure is based on that matchup. So I am absolutely copping this to see the black light and how this figure is going to work. And I hope that we see this figure soon. It just, uh, th this figure looks insane. And I think that... I know a lot of people didn't like the match and say what you will, but this figure looks super sick and I'm excited for it. I think, you know, it's easy to go buy it. I think, you know, when you get the black light involved, like a really cool action figure, absolutely beautiful. And then we have the last figure in today's video is going to be the second edition of the Bray Wyatt Ultimate Edition. This is the second Ultimate Edition here. Ah, this one's tough because I actually, I think it has a lot of redeeming qualities about it. They like kind of fix the like weird leg issue on this figure. I like the match sculpt. I'm going to put it and go buy it. I actually like it a lot. And I'm going to put it above this one because, again, we don't know what this pitch black match Bray Wyatt's going to look like, right? It could be good. It could be, you know, we don't have it in hand just yet. But this uh, second edition of the Ultimates, the Ultimate Edition, second edition there with the Bray Wyatt 
is a very good figure. Like double jointed arms. I, I really like like that sculpted kind of bulletproof style vest that he has. Really unique figure. Love the mask sculpt and all those different things. I think they uh, that, that was a really cool one. And my Walmart, you check your Walmarts, man. That figure right there actually just restocked. I found him the other day. So that may be something that you want to get into. They also restocked the Alexa Bliss. I think that set for some reason is stacked with the Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero Ruthless Aggression Ultimate. So that may be something you want to look into. But I think that is every single Bray Wyatt action figure that I wanted to rank, man. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 Bray Wyatt Elites and Ultimates here. And I, uh, he has a great track record. So many great figures. You guys can see the Go Buy It section is almost completely full. Like, really awesome action figures. He has a dud or two in there. You know, not my favorite figures, but I think he has a really good track record. Because, I mean, he's such a toyetic guy. Bray Wyatt's character has a very great look about him. And all of his creativity was off the chain, man. I'm, again, man, I, I really just, every time I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about it, I just can't even imagine. And I am just at a loss of words for the entire thing. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, man. I, you know. I wanted to celebrate Bray Wyatt and his action figures today, man, and I hope that uh, this was an enjoyable video. I hope you guys enjoyed the ranking video anyway. Of course, you know, it, it's very tough just across the entire wrestling world right now, and I know a lot of fans are struggling right now, like, just, complete, just completely out of left field. I don't think anybody in the world, you know, you, you can't, how do you even prepare for something like that, you know? And uh, Bray Wyatt is absolutely going to be missed by me and millions of people all over the world, man, and just another huge shout-out to him. Rest in peace to him. And, of course, prayers to, to Bray Wyatt and his family and his friends and close ones. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. You know, what do you think his best figure was? What do you think, you know, what, where do you rank all his figures, man? I'd love to know down in the comment section below, of course. And, uh... Maybe comment down below your favorite match of Bray Wyatt or maybe your favorite memory of Bray Wyatt or whatever the case is, man. I always said, I tweeted this out multiple times, that he was so creatively talented that he could have easily went to Hollywood. I, I think I tweeted it a few times. I was like, man, Bray Wyatt just needs to go to Hollywood, man. He's so talented. His acting is fantastic. If you ever question his acting ability, just go watch any Firefly Funhouse segment. Man was incredible. Just, sim just, such, a, just such a talent. A, a rarely, really rare talent, man. And he was one of the one of the more talented individuals that came across our WWE televisions, you know, across our televisions all across America, man. He was just so damn, just such a talent. Just such a talent that uh, is absolutely going to be missed in every single way. Not only just the talented wrestler, but the man he was, the father, the husband, the brother, the friend, everything like that, man. So I just, uh, I'm... Uh, I'm getting out of here, man. That is going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed one. Be sure to tell all the people that you love that you love them, man. To spend time with the people you love. Tell them you love them often. And uh, don't, don't take anything or any person for granted, man. Live life to the fullest. God first, man. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed one. Rest in peace to Bray Wyatt.